Hi and welcome to the next session of heat transfer. Today we study the heat transfer to the composite wall in paper. So consider this is the first wall which having the thermal conductivity K1 and area A1. The another wall is parallel to this wall which having the thermal conductivity K2 and area A2. The next wall is parallel to these two walls which having thermal conductivity K3 and A3. The inner temperature of this wall is Tf and outer temperature of this wall is Tf. X will be the thickness of this all three walls. Q is flowing through this wall. It is distributed into three parts that will be Q1, Q2 and Q3. And it is out and from the means we can say that Q is distributed into three parts that is Q1, Q2 and Q3. For this first wall we put the resistance R1. For the second wall we put a resistor R2 and for the third wall we put the resistor R3. Means we find the electrical analogy from this step. So that will give the circuit. And the potential difference that will equal to Ti minus Q. But we know that R1 value will be x upon K1 A1. Means the x value and this K1 A1 that will be the R1. For R2 x upon K2 A2. Similarly, R3 equal to x upon K3 A2. Now, the Q1 equal to Ti minus Co. That is this temperature difference and the R1 value. And Q2 equal to temperature difference upon R2 value. This R2. And the Q3 equal to Ti minus Co upon R3. This R3 value. But, the total heat transfer rate means Q. So Q will equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 and the Q equal to Ti minus T0 upon sigma R. So we put the Q value, Q1 value, Q2 value and Q3 value in this equation. That will give us Ti minus T0 upon sigma R equal to Ti minus T0 upon R1 plus Ti minus T0 upon R2 plus Ti minus T0 upon R3. So this Ti and this all Ti are get common and get cancelled. So our final equation becomes 1 upon sigma r equal to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3. Means when we have walls in parallel then we use this type of equation that having 1 upon sigma r equal to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3. 